So today, we are finding the domain and range of functions from a graph. And we're going to write the domain and range in interval notation. OK, now, the first thing you really need to know is that when we're looking for the domain, we're listing all the possible x values that the function could be. When we are listing the range, we're listing all the possible y values that the function can be. So we kind of have to pay attention to the graph in those terms. When we're looking for the domain, we're just focusing on the side to side. When we're focusing on the range, we're focusing on the up and down. Okay. Now the other thing we have to think about for interval notation is whether x and y values can be the number. If so, we would use the brackets. Or if they can go up to but do not include that actual number, in that case we would use the parentheses. All right, and it's best to see these with an example. So let's do this example together. We're going to give the domain and range of this function here. Let's start with the domain. OK, now, what possible x values can this be? So focusing on side to side, notice the smallest x value can be is right here. And that's at negative 6. All right, can it be negative 6? Why, yes, it can, because there's a point there. So I'm going to use the bracket and negative 6. OK. Now I'm going to put a comma because interval notation has the smallest and then the biggest separated by a comma. What is the biggest possible x value this can be? Well, if you go side to side, notice there's an arrow at the end of this one saying it continues forever. So it's going to keep going. So what is the biggest value? Well, there isn't one. It's going to keep going to infinity. So we're going to say infinity is the biggest possible x value. Can it actually be infinity? Well. No number can actually be infinity. So in this case, we have to use the parentheses. And that is how we show the domain. The x values, could they start at negative 6, and they go all the way up to, but do not include infinity, because infinity is not a reachable number. All right, so now let's talk about the range. So for the range, we are going to talk about the vertical, the y values. And if you look here, what's the smallest y value it can be? So notice down here, at this point of the function, it goes flat. So this looks like it's the lowest place the function can be. So negative 4 seems like it's the smallest. Now, can it be negative 4? Well, yeah, it's pretty much just sitting at negative 4 forever, basically. So we'll say there's a bracket, and there's your negative 4, OK? Because y can be negative 4. Now, what's the biggest y value it can be? All right, let's see. It goes up to right about there. It goes up to 4. Can it be 4? Why, yeah, there's a, there's a point right there. It just touches it for an instant, but yeah, it can be 4. So I'll put 4 there. And then again, it's a bracket because it could be 4. So that's how we would say that the range is, or the possible y values of this function are, from negative 4 up to and including positive 4. All right? Let's do a second example so we can see it again. All right, here's a new one. Again, we're going to find the domain and range, this time of this function. All right, so again, let's start with the domain. What are the possible x values? Let's start with the smallest. Now, this arrow shows that it's going forever in that way. So it doesn't look like there is going to be a smallest value of x. It's going to be negative infinity. So we'll start it at negative infinity. And just like we said before, x cannot actually be negative infinity. It can get there, get close to it, but not actually be it. So we're going to have to use the parentheses for that. All right? So it's going to start there. What's the biggest possible x value? Well, if we go all the way over here, notice it gets up to here. OK? But Look here, we've got an open circle on that end. What that tells me is x does not include that value as part of our function. It goes up to, but does not include it. Before we had a filled in circle, that means it actually can be it. But when it's open, that means it can't. So that means x goes up to 6, but does not actually include 6. So we'll list 6 here, but we're going to put a parentheses to show that x can go up to 6, but it doesn't actually include that value. All right. Now, 
let's do the range. The range is the set of y values. So let's start at the bottom. What's the smallest y value can be starting here? So notice, it bottoms out at negative 4, but again, we've got that open circle. So yeah, it gets to negative, get, it gets really close to negative four, but it never gets to negative four. So we are going to use the parentheses and the negative four. All right. Now, what's the biggest y value? Now you might be tempted to say, oh, it's right here because there's the peak of our graph at seven. But don't forget about this arrow. This arrow shows that it's going to keep going forever, including past this. Even though it doesn't seem like it shows that because it gets stopped off by the end of the graph, it does keep going forever. So the highest y value is infinity. Can it be infinity? Of course not. No number can actually be infinity, so we use the parentheses. All right? So the key to domain and range is to really focus on one thing at a time. For domain, focus on the side to side. For the range, focus on the up and down, and pay attention to those arrows. That'll trip you up every time. All right? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.